particularly when you have lost the only and um, only highest ranking UPDF general we have in Acholi. You look up but you don't see where your eyes end. But allow me in the interest of time make a very short speech here. Yeah. We are indeed saddened. I'm sorry I our chief whip the ministers present and all the ministers and dignitaries in different capacities. We've lost the people's general. And I want to thank my brother in your presence that he has set a standard for who a general should be in the UPDF. I say this and I must repeat, look at his Look at the setting of his home. You may think you are coming into any other person's home, not a general's home. You don't see a gate. You don't see a fence. And how he served in parliament, irrespective of whatever, how you look, short, tall, fat, wealthy or not, he would greet you and say, I respect the city authority. That is his trademark. He's gone. He respects the law. Fellow mourners, I will not talk about whatever he has done. The only, not only UPDF, but he had skills. I think he is the highest trained disaster management officer I may talk about. Because being charged with responsibility of being the director of emergency coordination and operation, if any disaster occurs here, he will be the one running. We thank him for that. And I want to thank so much the UPDF and particularly His Excellency the President for recognizing his ability and making him rise up to the level where he left us. I now request him to make an immediate appointment so that we also have a general at his capacity here. It is not, we also want ours in the room. We want him to be in the room there. Fellow mourners, the general has left us without any scandal. I want to tell you a story. We are in Amuru. I'm sorry to say this, the girlfriend of a general even grabbed his own land with his house he built on. He let it go. This is the general line. It is very difficult for, for someone who, to leave your house to, it is not very easy, but he did it. In the, in the interest of reconciliation and peace, he was willing to let go of what he has. That is the man we have lost. And I was told, in the middle of the elections, towards the end of last, actually in December, Last year, when the Hachole Religious Leaders Peace Initiative organized peace prayers in Amuru and asked for reconciliation, he knelt down. He really went on his knees asking whoever he had wronged to forgive him 